Hey guys, um, I wanted to revisit Star Wars Episode 1. Um, this is kind of like a mini review in a way, kind of more like a revisitation. Um, I actually want to tell you why this is one of the best Star Wars movies ever made. Um, I know that's a horribly unpopular opinion. Um, you know, everyone just loves the originals and pretty much everything after that they think is, is kind of shit. Uh, which is not true at all. Um, and the prequels were really shit on. But, if you really want to look at it and think of it, and you love Star Wars, and you love movies in general, um, Episode 1 is a great start, because the greatest thing about that is because, uh, you know, Star Wars, as a kid, I, I watched Star Wars, and I thought, um, this is like a great action movie, but it's also a family movie. You know, you got like the Ewoks in it, and you have like the weird characters at the cantina, and all the weird creatures. And then you got like the lightsaber battles, which are the best part of all Star Wars, I think, obviously. And um, good versus bad, you know. And so it's like a good family type of action movie, you would think. That's what I thought as a kid. But if you revisit Star Wars as an adult, you see that like the original series is actually like a really dark, sad, tragic tale. I mean, it's, it's not family friendly. It's not um, happy. You know, there are moments in it of happiness, of course, but it's a it's a sad tale, you know? It's somebody um, turning bad and killing people, and um, there's a lot of loss, and there's a loss of love, and so the reason that Star Wars Episode One is actually pretty great is because if you think about it, in the original trilogy, to begin with, all the Jedi are dead. You're left with an old Obi-Wan who does nothing. He's been in hiding. Um, and basically gives himself up for Luke to take over. Um, <clears throat> and that's it. You're left with Luke Skywalker to, to try to learn to be a Jedi through Force Ghosts. Through Yoda and Obi-Wan. Um, and to fight his dad. But Star Wars Episode One, all the Jedi are alive. That is the greatest thing ever. I mean, I know that people don't like, like, the political aspects of it or something. I mean, I think that's what I've heard. But you get to see, like, Obi-Wan as an apprentice. That's pretty cool, you know? And you get to see Qui-Gon Jinn as his master. Um, seeing the Jedi Council is awesome. And just seeing, like, all the Jedi alive, like Mace Windu and all the other guys in the Council. And seeing the Jedi, <clears throat> how they train in the whole Academy and stuff. Like, all that was great, and the technology is great. It's very bright, it's vibrant. Um, I know people hate, like, Jar Jar Binks. Um, and yeah, he's annoying, you know, I agree with that. Um, but he he doesn't detract from the movie. Just because he's there and he is annoying at some points, yeah, fine. But, you know, you got to understand that George Lucas put that in there to try to appeal to families also, you know. He was trying to do something a little bit, I think, for everybody. Just like he did with, like, Ewoks and other stuff like that. So, you can't blame him for that. You know, people just hated him for no reason. This Jar Jar Binks, yeah. He was annoying. I agree. But anyway, this start of the prequels, besides, you know, what people hate about the dragging on, about the political stuff, there was plenty of action. Darth Maul kicked ass. Um, Qui-Gon was pretty cool. Liam Neeson did a great job. I would have loved to see him in another movie, or more, or maybe in the future. Um, uh, McGregor did a great job as Obi-Wan. He's like probably the best part of all the prequels. I think everyone agrees on that. So there's a lot to love. I mean, Yoda as a younger man, still old as hell, but younger. There is very, very much a lot to appreciate in this. And I know most people will hate me for that and not agree, but really watch it again and think about the positives instead of the negatives and uh i mean i i love seeing jedis alive and lightsaber fights and all that stuff you know towards the end of the tale the saga there's a lot of death and people are gone and it just seems kind of dismal you know so this actually has new hope right here for me so there you go there's star wars episode one revisited um most people won't agree with me that's fine. I give my opinion. I say what I say. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, that's cool too. But I do appreciate this movie. And I appreciate all the Star Wars movies. So I hope for great Star Wars movies in the future. And um, I know you do too.